Hello there and welcome to my guide for painting Aunt May and Spider-Man for the Marvel Zombies board game. As you can see, uh, the first thing I did was sprayed both miniatures with some matte white from Colorforge. I started with Aunt May and for that I used some Slanesh Grey to paint her skirt. This was then given a very thin wash with some Drucci Violet. While that wash dries, I'm going to move on to Spider-Man. And for him, I'm going to use some Blood Angels red contrast paint to paint all of the red areas. Contrast paints are pretty handy because this will also give me quite a lot of the shading that I'm going to need in the near future. Once that dries, I'm going to move back to Aunt May and I'm going to relayer her skirt using Slanesh Grey, taking care to avoid all those recesses. And then for the highlight, I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of Slanesh Grey and Matte White. I'm then going to use some grey sear to paint her shirt, which will be followed by a 50-50 mix of grey sear and matte white, followed by a final highlight of matte white. I'm then going to paint her cardigan with atolic blue. And this will get a thin wash with some Draconoff Nightshade. While that dries, we're going to move back to Spider-Man and I'm going to do a quick dry brush with some Evil Sun Scarlet just to help pick out all those details. Then I'm going to use a very thin brush and I'm going to use some Wild Rider Red to start picking out the uh, segmented sections on his suit. Then I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of Wild Rider Red and Matte White just to do one final highlight. Then I'm going to use some Thousand Suns Blue to paint all the blue areas. Then I'm going to mix a little bit of contrast paint to Kelly and Green to do a thin wash. While that wash dries, I'm going to move back to Aunt May and I'm going to do a 50-50 mix of Atolic Blue and Hoeth Blue for the first highlight. And the second will be Hoeth Blue just by itself. Then I'm going to use Cadian Flesh Tone to paint all her skin. And then I'm going to use Retributor Armor to paint her little locket that she's got around her neck. Then both the flesh and the locket will get a coat of Reichland Flesh Shade. While that dries, I'm going to relayer the Thousand Suns Blue on Spider-Man to sort of neaten everything up a little bit. I'm going to avoid the recesses as well. This will be followed up by a 50-50 mix of Thousand Suns Blue and Ahimaram Blue. Now I know I mispronounced that because I'm dreadful at names. So dreadful in fact, I'm going to mispronounce that again. Ahimaram Blue is used for the next layer. And for one more final mispronunciation, I also used Imran Blue and a 50-50 mix with Lotharum Blue for the final highlight. I then used some Abaddon Black to paint the front logo of Spider-Man and his eye lenses. This was followed by a highlight with some Corvus Black. I then very carefully used some grey sear to paint the main part of his lenses. And then highlighted it with some matte white. That's Spider-Man out of the way for now, so I then went back to Aunt May and painted her eyes with some Abaddon Black. Followed by Matte White. Before finally using a small dot of Abaddon Black for the pupil. Then I relayered the flesh with some Cadian Flesh Tone. This was followed by a 50-50 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh. And this was followed by Kislev Flesh just by itself. I then painted the hanky that she's holding with some Morgast bone. To which I highlighted using some matte white. Then I gave the locket a quick highlight with some Uruk Armor Gold. I then used some Dawnstone to paint her hair. This was followed by a 50-50 mix of Grey Sear and Dawnstone for the first highlight. And the second highlight was using Grey Sear just by itself. I then painted Aunt May's shoes with some Abaddon Black, which I then highlighted with some Corvus Black. Now it's time to work on the bases, so I painted the metal pole that Spider-Man's holding with some Iron Hand Steel. The ground that Aunt May's standing on with some Dryad Bark. I also used it to paint the small bit of exposed ground um, on Spider-Man's base. I then used some Dawnstone to paint the rubble that Spider-Man is standing on. 
as well as picking out a few stones on Aunt May's base. I then dry brushed Aunt May's base with some Rekar flesh. I then dry brushed the rubble that Spider-Man was standing on with some grey sear. Then I used Blood Reaver flesh to paint the brickwork, which was highlighted with a 50-50 mix of Blood Reaver flesh and Bugman's glow. The sign was then painted with Caliban green. The rebar was painted with some Iron Warriors. The hooks around the sign and the outside of the sign was painted with Stormhost silver. Grey Seer was used to paint the spiderweb, which was then highlighted with matte white. I also painted the words on the sign as well. I then painted the rim with some Abaddon black. And then finally, it gave both bases a coat with some watered down Agrax Earthshade. Once that wash is dry, that's them finished. Um, I really enjoyed painting these guys. Once again, um, come on, knock it out of the park and do fantastic sort of one piece of figures. They didn't take too long to paint whatsoever. In fact, they only took around about four hours for the pair. They were quite easy to paint because there's not really that many colors to them, hence the, uh, hence the speed. I hope you've enjoyed this guide and I hope it's helped you if, you're, if you've been struggling or anything like that. Um, if you liked it, uh, give the video a thumbs up, um, maybe think about subscribing for more and I will catch you on the next one. Goodbye for now.